What inspired you to create the grimoire? The simple answer is my friend Elias Marriage, directing a film called Shadow of the Vampire. He asked me to create a grimoire. Now, a grimoire is seen in the 1922 Nosferatu film, and it's a book of magical spells, sigils and signs and symbols. And so we looked at that, and he asked me if I could create one. And I've always joked, but it's rather true about me. Uh, give me an opportunity to work in an arcane <laughs> or ancient way, and I will. But also what is important is because none of this was approached in a belief system, meaning this needs to be true or not true, but much more in what we call a type of theatrical system, the suspension of disbelief. And this is very important for the imagination because as we move through the images, which we don't have time to really go through tonight, uh, except to look at the different qualities and beauty, meaning that we're, we're moving through a book and we see characters that are dark and they take us into the dark, they take us into the deep imagination. And this is something that, that uh, creates a lot of fear in individuals, which is the things that go bump in the imagination, meaning I shouldn't be looking at these things. And I would say that if they make you uncomfortable, then probably you shouldn't. But it is more important to understand if you can approach it more like an actor approaching a role, meaning I don't need to believe this, let me explore it. Or just when you're playing with your imagination, like looking at your clouds, I don't need to believe anything. Let me see where this takes me. Then the grimoire, the book of magical spells, which has very little to do with our time and our culture, allows our imagination to move into another possibility and be inspired. And so I always was looking in this grimoire to finally say, well, what is it that I can learn from you? Not what is it I'm illustrating, because none of this was an illustration. And what I found in working on it was this fascinating truth that buried deep within us uh, is a connection. But we have to ask the question. Some would say, like in a creative sense, if you want to know the music, you have to ask the question of the music. If you want to know the poem, you have to read the poem. And that's what this is saying. To know me, I needed you to take this journey. And that's why just in terms of its journey being magical, from the movie, from Shadow of the Vampire, it then is seen with the Rolling Stones and Keith Richards. He sees it and it's lifted into their A Bigger Bang tour from 2005 to 2007. My first outing professionally as an artist, I'd always worked privately. So to see this on stage in enormous uh, projection with the Stones, there was something very primordial, something very ancient, something about this deeper truth that, you know what? This is just hand and ink and paint. This is the oldest language, and these are the oldest tools, and this is the oldest vision. And so from that, the Rolling Stones came, and then later it ended up with Warner Brothers on their, uh, the originals uh, show, which was uh, like the Vampire Chronicles. It uh, became Esther's Grimoire, and uh, you can even look it up. And what is wonderful about it is that no one realized that it was not ancient. They thought it was. And that's a great compliment to the grimoire because the grimoire says your magic in you is very old. If it needs a gadget or a gizmo, it's being done for you. If it just is something you can look at and allow your imagination to be drawn forth, then you have a tool. You're not being distracted you're entering into the conversation. So with my grimoire, see where it takes you. Let it invite you into the conversation. And remember, just as there is day, there is also night. Just as there is light, there is also dark. But the grimoire teaches, do not be afraid of the dark. You will transform the dark and turn it into art. That's the alchemy of our true humanity. Thanks.